Welcome to our channel. In this video we will review how high a plane can fly. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Throughout history, people have wished to join the birds in flight. Some attempted to create prosthetic wings and fluttering like our feathered companions, only to fail and even plummet to their lives. Others choose to research how birds fly and build robots that mimic their movements. While flapping wings were ultimately ineffective, these concepts did contribute to the construction of one of humanity's greatest achievements, the airplane. Today, we frequently take the flight for granted. Some of us may have ridden on one without even thinking about it. An airplane is an enthralling machine. It can handle a wide range of tasks and serves as a powerful demonstration of humanity's technical progress. An airplane can fly higher and higher in the sky depending on the job it is made for or what it does. How far can commercial planes fly? Commercial jets such as the Boeing 737, Airbus A320, Boeing 787, and Airbus A330 can reach altitudes of 38,000 feet, 11,582.4 meters. Concorde, the now retired supersonic airliner, had a cruising altitude of up to 60,000 feet, 18,288 meters. Because air resistance is smaller at such heights, such a high altitude was required. This means that achieving supersonic speeds will be simpler. Indeed, jet aircraft have one advantage over propeller aircraft, they fly faster and have smoother flights because propeller planes can only fly at higher altitudes where turbulence is more common. How far can propeller planes fly? Propellers are used in many different types of aircraft. The piston engine plane, whose engine is comparable to that of an automobile, is one type. This type of plane includes the ubiquitous Cessna 172, the world's most common aircraft. The turboprop engine is the other type. A turboprop is comparable to a jet plane in that the engine shafts drive a big propeller instead of massive fans to create thrust. Turboprop engines are used in the majority of commercial propeller planes, including the Lockheed C-130 and the ATR family of commuter aircraft. A propeller plane's height ceiling is limited regardless of engine type. Skydiving planes, which are typically propeller aircraft, fly to a height of roughly 12,000 feet, 3,657.6 meters. Student pilots fly from as low as 2,500 feet, 762 meters, to as high as 8,000 feet, 2,438.4 meters. Commercial turboprop aircraft, such as the Bombardier Dash 8 and the ATR-72, can cruise it up to 27,000 feet, 8,229.6 meters. Some propeller planes can fly up to 12,500 feet, 3,810 meters, but they rarely cruise at that altitude. Propeller planes, in general, lack the push to fly above specific altitudes due to a lack of air. However, the highest altitude flown by a propeller plane is 96,863 feet, 29,524 meters. The NASA-developed Helios prototype robotic aircraft accomplished this in 2001. This was also the highest sustained flight by a winged aircraft, but not the maximum altitude attained. How far can military planes fly? Depending on their type and mission, military aircraft have a wide range of height ceilings. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules and its variants, for example, can fly as high as 12,000 feet, 3,657.6 meters. Military transport planes like the C-17 fly at roughly the same altitude as commercial planes. During combat missions, fighter jets typically fly at altitudes of roughly 40,000 feet, 12,192 meters. When necessary, they may rise and fly as high as 65,000 feet, 19,812 meters. This can occur during dogfights as well as in other situations. Interceptors, a type of fighter jet designed to intercept bombers and fast aircraft, routinely fly over 66,000 feet, 20,116.8 meters. The Lockheed U-2, a spy jet, soars over 70,000 feet, 21,336 meters. This altitude is required to escape detection by both land-based and air-based defense systems. Did you know that any time a U-2 lands, it must be accompanied by a chase car? See this video to see why. The Lockheed State Route 71 espionage jet broke the record for the longest sustained powered flight in 1972. It climbed to an elevation of 85,069 feet, 25,929 meters. 
The State Route 71 is also the fastest crewed air breathing plane ever built, with top speeds of Mach 3.3, 2,193.2 2 miles per hour, 3,529.6 kilometers per hour. What is the highest altitude reached by a plane? The highest altitude attained by an air breathing plane is 123,523 feet, 37,649 meters achieved by a MiG-E266M in 1977. A modified MiG-25 interceptor. However, the North American 1015 rocket plane achieved the highest altitude ever achieved by a powered winged aircraft, 354,200 feet, 107,960 meters. In reality, this mission reached such a high altitude that it is classified as a suborbital spaceflight since it crossed the Kármán line, 100 kilometers, or the space barrier. Did you know that before joining NASA, Neil Armstrong, the first person to walk on the moon, was an X-15 pilot? While not exactly an airplane, the Space Shuttle Discovery achieved the highest height ever achieved by a winged object. Discovery reached an apogee, highest point, of 386 miles during STS-31, the mission that launched the Hubble Space Telescope, 621 kilometers. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel since we will be covering a lot of similar content in the future. Till next time, stay curious.